you are welcome to today's video lesson with bright edo in today's lesson i'll be answering this particular question written on the board now in the look of things this question is on empirical and molecular formula now let's get into the practice question and it says if empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound so this particular question is telling us that empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound or the simplest form a compound can exist full stop now let's proceed which of the following below is an empirical formula so the question is trying to tell us that out of these options given here which of the compound here is the empirical formula is the simplest formula of that way the compound was expressed now this must be noted let's solve this question together now looking at option a which is c2 h2 option a is it the simplest form this compound can exist no it is not i can actually break this compound further so that i can get the simplest form and i will divide all these numbers i'm seeing here two by two because that's the number that can divide okay this number so two go into that two i'm divide, dividing it to it i'm going to get one okay because two divided by two is one same applies two go into that two i'm dividing through by the numbers i'm still going to get one so hydrogen is one or i simply get ch okay because c1 h1 is same as ch so the point here is this this is not the simplest form this compound can exist so this can be the empirical formula because they're asking us to get the empirical empirical is the simplest form a compound can exist so you can see that i i, I can actually break through this compound and get this okay now let's examine option b option b is c2 h6 is this the simplest form this compound can exist no it is not i can actually divide through by a number and what is the number in the look of things two can go into so two divided by that two i'm dividing with what am i having also one and this six divided by that two i'm having i'm dividing through by the number what am i having h3 because two into two that is one two uh, uh, six divided by the two i'm using to divide that is three you can see how it works so what am, what are we having here c h3 because you know one one is negligible so moving further to option c you can see that this is not the simplest form it can exist this is the simplest form it can exist so it can can it be the empirical formula no so for option c which is c3 h6 now in the look of things looking at this compound is it the simplest form it can exist no i can divide through by number which is three so three going to this and that's six divided by the three we are having we are dividing through by what are we to have we are to have two because six divided by three that is two so you can see that in the look of things what are we having c1 h2 or simply c we simply say ch2 so you can see that this is not the simplest form it can exist this is the simplest form the compound can exist so is this an empirical formula no now for option d which is c3 h8 now basically can a number go into these two numbers no because when i divide through by three it will actually go here okay because three divided by three that is one and eight divided by that three are we to get something no when i divide through by eight here will be one definitely but it can't go here so the point here is this this is the empirical formula because this is the simplest form this option d can be expressed so the answer to this question is option d okay because now all of these written on the board from option a to option c what are they called are they called the empirical formula no they are called molecular formula because molecular formula is the actual form a compound can exist because it is molecular formula that will that can be broken down to get an empirical formula so all these are molecular formula whereby option d is the empirical formula i hope you find this video lesson helpful because the reason why i'm doing this particular video is to actually tell you that solving questions in empirical and molecular formula is not difficult you have to be calm when so because questions like this can come out in the jam examination so you have to take note of this 
particular question written and solved here do well to share these lessons with your friends and also share other of my lessons with your friends so that they can actually understand the basic principles in chemistry that cuts across different topics in chemistry i've done a lot of video lessons that will help you greatly in chemistry and also revision biology questions okay that will help you improve greatly in biology thanks for watching